सर इस टॉपिक को फर्दर डिस्कशन करने से पहले मैं चाहता हूँ कि आप व्यूअर्स को अपनी कंपनी की कुछ पास स्टोरी के बारे में बताएं कि किस तरह से आपने इस कंपनी की शुरुआत की आपने क्या चैलेंजेस फेस किए और किस तरह से आपने उन चैलेंजेस को ओवरकम किया सो वेल स्टॉप एज आई सेड आई स्टार्ट इन टू Prior to that, I was working at another vending company, which was founded by my father. He was the, I would say, the one of the first people to start the whole vending industry in India. First person to import, then eventually after R and D, first person to start manufacturing machines on a local level. And after working with him for a few years, I wanted to do something of my own because I was seeing what kind of issues are faced at a manufacturing level. so during my years of working there i was also trying to do research on you know other people helping us out you know with our manufacturing or uh, other processes and after a few years i actually found a right partner overseas who was you know ready to help us with developing new machines for our market and also help us to scale by providing a large quantity of machines every year and one thing led to another and we had our tie up with this particular factory and since then i started venstop as a separate entity and now we are we have supplied over 2 to 2 and a half thousand machines in the indian market and we are successfully growing year on year to sir agar aap mein baat ki jaye locations ki to abhi venstop lal kin kin locations pe operational hai so we are existing pan india we have machines at all metro cities with local service support available everywhere and i think in the last few years because the uh, concept is growing a lot of tier 2 cities have also started inquiring about machines and we've also started supplying to all these cities so on a on an indian level we are existing everywhere and last year just a year ago we started our own company in the middle east also so we started uh, supplying machines there recently to a few customers and for this new financial year we are targeting a good number of machines in the middle east region also तो सर अब मैं आपसे ये जानना चाहता हूँ कि आप सिर्फ वेंडिंग मशीन मैन्युफैक्चर और सप्लाई करते हैं या फिर ऑपरेशन से रिलेटेड जो टास्क होते हैं उसका सपोर्ट भी आप प्रोवाइड करते हैं तो वी आर वी आर मशीन मैन्युफैक्चर सो फॉर आवर आई मीन फॉर अस इट्स मेनली अबाउट सप्लाइंग द मशीन एंड देन इंश्योरिंग एंड आफ्टर सेल सपोर्ट फॉर दोज मशीन सो वी हैव टू मेक श्योर दैट द क्लाइंट्स आर यू नो ऑलवेज सेटिस्फाइड दे डोंट हैव एनी इशूज विद द मशीन सो फ्रॉम एन ऑपरेशनल पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू वी डोंट हैव मच इन्वॉल्वमेंट टू बी ऑनेस्ट दैट इज more of a job of our uh, clients who you know, are finding locations and placing the machines and running them but uh, so at the in case of a final location it's not our lookout all the time that being said in our own city of vadodara because you know no other operating partner was uh, active over there we started putting our own machines at corporates and running them mainly for two reasons one is that you know we uh, we wanted to see the performance of our own machines over time how they behave what kind of issues are arising so we can constantly uh, make changes and make them better over time and secondly no other company was there at the time so we thought that we should only you know do this so even without doing much promotion or marketing through word of mouth we have about 50 60 machines in our city that we manage so in in our region i would say that uh, in the end it comes down to uh, because you know these machines are usually put on rental when the clients operate it because that's there's two revenue streams mainly one is rental and one is the sales of the products from the machines there is a third branding uh, revenue also but not all clients or operators are doing that so for us also like any other company uh, you know when it comes to operations we would want to see what kind of rentals we are getting first of all uh, it doesn't matter uh, about the size of the company as such uh, of course we if someone asks us we we say that you can have a machine if you have a staff of over 100 people there uh, and depending on the location of the company we will you know ask them for a certain rental whether it's in the city or whether, whether it's on the outskirts of the city okay and i think ashish can also throw some more light on this because he takes care of this more than i do in routine so he can also shed some light there operation wise jo industry mein jaa rakh rahe ya organization hai ya koi call center ho it depends on their requirement first of all which kind of machines they look they are looking for what's their requirement so if a hostel hai to wo hamara hi lookout hai ki humko rental to humko hi milne wala hai but wahan par sales zyada hoga so there we can place a bigger machine so that even they are getting enough stuff variety as well as number of products wo increase hoga whereas koi chhota office hai jahan 50 or 100 log hai to wahan bada machine ka koi worth nahi hai aur rentals bhi kam honge so why to invest bigger amount for a smaller machine 